Hey guys, for today's video, we partnered up with Wondershare's Dr. Phone. And Dr. Phone is the all-in-one tool that provides a complete solution for all iOS and Android devices for things like data recovery, data transfer, backups, system repairs, screen unlocks, and many more. With an easy one-click copy all of the phone's data to another phone. It doesn't matter the platform. It can be from iPhone to iPhone, from an iPhone to an Android, or vice versa. It really doesn't matter. Just simply connect your device, select the data that you would like to transfer, and Dr. Phone will do the rest. Now make sure you download the Dr. Phone from the links in the description and if you leave a comment in this video telling us what feature of Dr. Phone you would like to try out, you will enter the chance to win one free license code. So thank you to Dr. Phone for sponsoring today's video. iOS 15.2 developer and public beta 3 has been out for a couple of days now and as per usual I'd like to come back and share with you guys additional details in terms of new features and changes within the software after using the software for several days and I found quite a bit of improvements and changes that are very very welcome changes so of course without further ado let's take a look at iOS 15.2 developer beta 3 follow-up video now of course if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and software updates don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, the first thing I'd like to talk about is a change within Apple Music. You can now go into Apple Music. If you head on over into a playlist, you can now swipe down on a playlist and actually search inside of a playlist. Yes, I think this is something that should have been added since the beginning. Most users were asking for this one. Apple is listening. And you can now search within the playlist in iOS 15.2 beta 3 in your Apple Music library. Now, there's also some changes to the emergency SOS. Now, if you go into your iPhone settings under emergency SOS, now the timer has changed. So when you click the side button five times, the counter now starts within eight seconds instead of five, which is what it was before. So now you have more time to stop the timer from contacting emergency services when enabling SOS. So if I click five times, one, two, three, four, five, you can see right there it is. Countdown starts at eight instead of five. Of course, you can stop it. There you go. It takes you back directly to the home screen here of your iPhone. And one thing to note is that your iPhone will now prompt you that this was activated, as you can see right there. And you can actually go ahead and disable this settings if you wish to do so directly within the emergency SOS tab in settings. So you don't have to uh, accidentally click that uh, five times. So if you don't want that, you can actually turn that off within the settings as well. And you actually get a notification after you deactivate it in case you did activate it by accident. Now, one of the biggest welcome changes, in my opinion, this one is uh, hiding the IP address from known trackers inside of Mail and Safari. Now, this option lies within the cell data options. You now have a new option here when using your carrier's network connection. If we head on over here into the cell data options and we go right here, cell data options, you see right there a new toggle. So right here, you can now hide your IP address from known trackers within the Mail application on your iPhone and Safari. Of course, you wanna have that toggle on so that your iPhone stays safe and secure. Apple continues to add additional privacy privacy features within iOS 15.2. I'm really digging this software. A lot of improvements and privacy features have been added to the software. Of course, if you want to watch my entire coverage of this software, links will be in the description down below, beta 1, beta 2, follow-up videos and all that good stuff. Links will be down below. Now, last but not least, one of the biggest changes to the battery health department, you now have the ability or your iPhone can now detect unknown parts within your iPhone. So if you take your iPhone in to repair, replace a battery, the battery isn't good or is unknown, non-genuine, your iPhone can detect and tell you there's an unknown part inside of your iPhone. So that is also, of course, a welcome addition to iOS 15.2. So about five new changes uh, within this video here that I've noticed after using this beta software for a couple of days now. I hope you guys enjoy these follow-up videos. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you running iOS 15.2? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.